Hello, I'm Pastor Larry. I'm part of the global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people just like you to reach and disciple and empower the next generation. There are lots of ways to express love to one another. And there are ways of showing love that come really easy for me, and there are other ways that seem a little awkward for me. But as I've traveled around and interacted with lots of different kinds of people, from my culture and other cultures, old people and young people, I'm learning that there's not really one way or the right way to express love in the body of Christ. Jesus himself showed love in many different ways, and we can too. Here are five big categories of love. And as you hear them, one of them is going to probably be most like you, and you'll say, that's me. And others will, will not seem so much like you. But we're all different, and we can learn to be a bigger expression of the love of Jesus. The first category is with your words. The Bible says that our words have the power of life and death. So we can use our words to bless and to bring life. Saying encouraging things to them may give them the strength they need to keep going. You know, Jesus said to his disciples, I no longer call you servants, but now I call you my friends. Can you imagine how that must have felt when they heard those words? You see, we can speak words of praise for something that they've accomplished to lift them up and say good things about them in front of other people. But our words can also communicate our love for who they are as a person. Sometimes we're just hungry to hear those words that say how much you care about me. The second category, you can express love for others just by the way you touch them. A cool handshake, a pat on the back, a fist bump, even a hug once in a while. You know, parents brought their little children to Jesus, and the Bible says that he took them into his arms and he put his hands on them and he blessed them. Ever since our children were born, we've been communicating our love for them with a gentle touch as we care for their every need. And nothing has changed. As they grow up, they still desire our touch as we pray for them, as we bless them, as we come close to them, those kinds of touches actually confirm the words of our love, that all the words we've been saying to them. Third, you can express your love to them just by spending time with them, face to face. Jesus took his disciples away to quiet places just to spend time with them, sharing and answering their questions, and you can spend time with children, too, by doing something that they really like, something that they are interested in. You can really listen to them and pay close attention. That time with, that you have with them is a big encouragement, and it says, I love you, and I want to be with you. The fourth category, you can do something to serve them. You know, Jesus, just before he was going to lay down his life for us, he took his disciples to a very important meal to spend time with them. And then he said, I'm going to show all of you the full extent of my love. He may have been talking about the cross and what was about to happen, but the very next thing he did was to wash their feet. He served them. He told them that he wanted them to do the same for each other. You can express your love by serving children also. Maybe you can help them with one of their chores, or you can surprise them by doing something kind and helpful for them. Serving someone else intentionally makes them feel important. And it's a spiritual demonstration of your love and care for them. The last category, you could give them a little gift, a small token of love, just because. The Bible teaches us over and over that God gave us the most wonderful gift to show his love for the world. 
he gave his son, Jesus. And you can give like this as well. Maybe it's something that you make for them, or you save up a little money and then you buy their favorite treat. You could also give them something of yours that you know they like. You know, usually this little token, this little gift, will be given along with one of the other expressions of love. Like, as you spend time together, you can give them something to remember it by. Or when you say something really special to them, there is a little gift that will always remind them of what you've said. This token will always say that you love them. So let's decide to represent the love of Jesus in each of these five areas and see what God will do as we love one another the way he loves us. Thanks for joining me. For more resources to help you reach and disciple and empower your children, go to our website, 1450today.net.